Hi everybody, my name is Brady and we are back with some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Here we have the end. I'm very nervous about this because I was not finding any solution to this just beast of an army that they have over here. Not only do they have the uh, kind of modern looking tank, they got the freaking Da Vinci tanks, they got vampires, and there's a wizard in there somewhere. There he is. There's a lot to fight here right now. And like, I have no clue what can take on all of those things. Like, they, I could throw any sort of variety at it and it's hard to determine exactly what would be ideal. First thing, I need to figure out what can defeat not only the uh, uh, tank, but the Da Vinci tanks as well. I think, well, I think the first threat is, it might be the vampires. I think they're they're pretty fast right off the bat. So like, I, I don't even know where to start at this stage. Like, I have enough money for, like, two Da Vinci tanks and a couple jousters, and that's not going to do the job. So I don't know what will. I feel like nothing in the... Hmm. Actually, I'm not sure. I feel like nothing in the uh, Vikings uh, thing should work, but I am curious about this. Hold on. I want to put a bunch of these. This isn't actually my strategy, but I do want to see what happens when they interact with the tanks. Like, yeah. Yeah, the ice just kind of bounces off the tank itself. I think if it hit the people who were on the tank, uh, the ice might be effective, but it's not doing that. So that's problem one there. Uh, and yeah, the tanks just kind of bulldoze you. So yeah, I don't know if there is anything in the Viking thing that can actually take these guys on. Like, what what if Val Valkyrie's definitely... I mean, that looks pretty intimidating, but I don't think... Like, I want to kind of play around with units in this one and see, like, some cracks in the armor, maybe. If I'm lucky, maybe we can find little weaknesses, something that can neutralize the power of like large units like the tanks. And the tanks, they're also being boosted by the, uh, the flag bearers. So that's an additional problem there. So Vikings seem to be a no-go. I, I, Jarls, actually, Hold on. Let me put a bunch of Jarls out there and try something. Because the Jarls do have the, uh, what I've been calling the Ice Prison attack. Which I would like to see in action against the tanks. That, that move. Because, like, that could throw off a large unit. It doesn't seem like it's working here, unfortunately. That you have to actually be able to hit the attack. There, it destroys the Da Vinci tank. Hmm. Well, it doesn't destroy it, but it, it's pretty effective in slowing it down. Okay, we were actually able to destroy the regular tank and the Da Vinci tank with that. So, maybe the Jarls should be in my lineup but not in the front line. So what goes in the front line? Uh, we got these guys over here. I'm, uh, they're interesting. Um, maybe... A couple dead eyes, maybe? A few dead eyes. And then maybe we could throw a couple Jarls in, right? And we'll build upon that in a minute. Hold on, I, I want to... I, 
I think they we need a couple Jarls if we're gonna be doing this. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> it's not enough. One Jarl on each side is definitely not gonna do the job, but then we're, we're only left with 3,400 right now. So if I doubled up on Jarls, that doesn't leave us with much left. And what I'm really concerned about is the wizard. Um, one annoying thing here is the, uh, is the first shot from the main tank, not the Da Vinci tanks, but the, the regular tank. Man, that's the loudest airplane I've heard recently. Uh, so perhaps it would be good to have some some painters across the front line as sort of a, let's take the first shot for them. Let's give the dead eyes a chance to get one more shot in perhaps. If that's all we can get, that's fine. Oh, we might actually have something here. I think we're gonna lose one of these guys. Oh man, oh, oh man, okay. Um, this is hard. This is a hard one. So, I like the Jarls against the tanks, but they're very expensive and may not be doing enough. Um, what if I did the Jarls, though, and I combined them with healers? Because that could be effective, right? Like, if... If they, we like led with some healers, not led with them, but like we, we really uh, invested in healers. I haven't made healers all that effective. It's It's been a while since I've had a really good healer round. And I think healers are pretty, uh, they, they take up an okay amount of money and then they're just gone, so. There, there's a little risk in the investment there. So let's uh, put some painters along the front and maybe we could put an additional Jarl. Um, I feel like the tank is gonna lead in this direction because I think the painters over here are closer. So I could throw in one more Jarl and see how that plays out. Uh, that's that's hard. This is very difficult and a halfling right over here Because <laughs> the random troop placement is always the way to go Yeah, come on guys and all the healers are dead already very good very good as as, as we planned No, what are you doing over there? Why are you leaving your jarls? Oh, 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 and we just have healers. Okay, that was bad. This is just the worst. This is the worst bull crap I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I, I'm not thinking dumb enough, clearly. It's always the dumbest stuff that ends up doing it. The things that you would least expect could make a difference in something like this. So we've got a lot of map to work with. And that's kind of what we tried to do last time. We tried to work with the map, but uh, really, how much can be done? What if we put our Jarls in the woods? I, I, I know that sounds stupid on the face of it, but it might actually have purpose to it. Um... And we'll give them a couple healers. Because healers are, we, will do stupid things and throw their lives away for nothing. We'll, we'll give them each a couple healers. Um, let me zoom out real far and see where else we have the option of going. We have stuff up here. Like, I think if we spread them out, we might actually be able to do something with this. Like, one, two, three. And 
and throw a Jarl up in there. Because they're all going to go in different directions. And I think that would be just dandy. Um, sorry, I keep forgetting where everything is. And we'll put a third one there. Okay, what else do we got? We could do... We could throw a, a dead eye out there somewhere. We could throw a cannon over here. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do at all. Um, I guess we want them to be divided, right? So how do we divide them? I guess we could take some Renaissance things and just no, that, there's no point in having that if we're going to be doing that. Okay, what do we got as far... How much were the uh, healers? 650. That, no, they were 180. The knight is 650. So maybe I'll uh, go up this way again. Man, there's a lot going on on this map, mate. I never really tested this. I, the problem is I don't know if I can really trust them to do anything over here like i can't trust them to follow my vision okay and we're already out of the woods and we're already going to start dying this is great let's uh we're going to start moving up this way cool let's let's see how far our friends over here have gotten we've got a cannon I'm very excited to see what the cannon can pull off. I was hoping these guys would be able to get a little bit further before we uh, started running into this sort of problem. You got any tanks over here? We got a tank. Where's the big tank? The, the regular tank. It's all the way over there. Oh, it's stuck. That means we're going to have to chase it and we're going to die. That sucks. How are we doing, guys? Jarls are doing all right? Okay, the healers have finally caught up. Clearly, they've been slacking. This strategy blows. Let's just be honest with ourselves. We have, like just a Jarl at this point. There's a boxer. Boxers are beasts. Wait, who else do we have? Don't tell me the bard's still alive out there somewhere. Totally is. Okay, let's just not. This is all very, very dumb. Um, well, there's something I principally agree with. Uh, just gonna stick a bunch of cannons out in the woods, see if that does anything. I don't, I, I don't know, man. I wish I could use that uh, that building. I don't think any of it would actually work all that effectively, but it would be kind of funny to be able to use a building. Um. I don't like the lack of control I have over my zoomage. Like, I'm trying to zoom, and it's like, nope, too much zoom. You don't get that much zoom. This is going to be a mess. I, I, I can already feel it. All right, where are we going? We're going this way. Okay, we've already broken a cannon. Great job, guys. Um... I have a feeling our aim's not going to be very good, is it? But the tank's aim is spot on. Just fan tucking fastic. Hopefully, the tank ends up getting wedged on something, because I think that's our only hope, really. Um. Man, that was bad. 
I, this this is I think this might be the hardest level I've uh, I've done so far and maybe this sort of indirect distance thing I feel like this is taking my strategy like back like I need to be moving forward I think that's a step backwards from where I was before um, I was told not to underestimate the cactus guys because they have great defense. Hold on. What do? You... Oh, they missed. Maybe the cactus guys will win all on their own. I. <laughs> Wouldn't that be the most amusing thing in the world? Look at how they just like stick to him. I don't think cactuses would work very well against a tank, though. It's just the tank is... That tank specifically. The Da Vinci tanks are one thing, but... Like, the gun guys definitely... Oh! Oh, these guys can dodge and stuff. Duh. Yeah, there's nothing there. I've, I've tried mixing and matching. I've tried throwing in really heavy units. I, I just don't... It's such a variety that we're taking on. Like, the vampires are a threat in themselves. And one that I, I don't feel prepared to take on. I, I wish we could just do Reapers and see what happens, but that's not going to work. Uh, harpooners. Bomb throwers. What do bomb throwers, how are they? I, I feel like I haven't used them in a while. How do bomb throwers work? You guys any good? This is, you know what? That didn't work at all. And I don't think there's any silver lining to the whole situation. Um, they seems like they just mostly blew themselves up. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to look for. I really don't. What do captains do? I, I This is just me testing out units at this point. Don't take any of my uh, decisions here as, like, serious strategy or anything. I just... I don't know what raw materials to work with. I would be a terrible general. And it's very sad to me. Um, fencers are nice and cheap. Six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine dragons, and then we're going to fill up the front line with a bunch of meat shields. They're all going to be painters. Yeah, because painters are annoying to people in this game. Oh, he went right for the dragon. Oh, you prick. Does fire work on tanks? Oh, uh, it killed the guys on top, but it doesn't seem like... Oh, and he's just going under the dragons. Oh, what a genius. Whoever's piloting that tank, which was clearly nobody. There was nobody piloting it. We burnt it. To all hell. Man. Okay. We need something. I don't know what. We're gonna. The painters are gonna be there. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. That's all we're going to do for painters. Now we need to figure out what we're really going to do. I like the dead eyes. Uh, we could do, what, three quick draws? That would be pretty cool. I don't think that'll work. They'd be good against a lot of types of units, but I don't think they'd be very good in this. But I really want to make use of them. Oh, Da Vinci tank's going down. Okay, we broke one. We broke one Da Vinci tank. 
Oh man. The quick draws are not dead yet and they're getting some shots off, which is good, but they totally just got blindsided. Uh, come on, come on, you're so fast. You're supposed to be fast. Be fast. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Like, it felt like we were closer there. And that felt extra dumb. Are you getting in trouble? Okay, you be behave. Um, okay. 3,600. Dragons are... They... <laughs> They seem to have mixed luck, unfortunately. Hmm. I could do one, two, three cannons, but then I have 600 left. What do I do? I could put a couple harpooners in front of them, see if they can, like, hold on to, like, the baddies that the cannons are going after. Oh, the cannons are already faster than the harpooners. That's unfortunate. Get him, dragon! I think the dragon did a decent amount of damage. The, the tank looks all messed up. Uh, it just rolls in and wrecks it. Like, I don't, I don't... I don't know what to do. I am at a loss. I don't know. Rene I sounds you gotta have something for me. Not jousters. Can balloon archers even like take even like lift a tank? Clearly no, right? What if we hit them with like all the balloon archers and they all hit the tank at once? We're not even gonna get to find out because they didn't even hit it once. Okay, uh, that that's fine. That's fine. Um, let's quit that. That that was a that was a plan I wanted to see executed, but clearly is not going to happen, and it's all their fault. Dead eyes, cool. Cacti are cool. I could get a mammoth in there. That would be cool. Um. I could do three scarecrows. Wouldn't that be sick? If the the scarecrows saved the day? There's no way scarecrows are taking down a tank, but I, I'm totally at a loss at this point. I'm willing to try pretty much anything. You know what? This round's going surprisingly well. Never mind. I, I, I don't know where I thought that was going well. Clearly didn't. Um, fire is cool. We're going to not use as much of it, though. Um, what if... <laughs> Dude, that would be funny. What if I instead have the... Uh, have the dragons be like a second decoy that has a little bit of offense to it. Like, like I'm, I'm just spitballing at this point, but like, and then vampires in the middle looks, I just don't know what to do. I have no more ideas. Alexander wept, for there was one kingdom left to conquer. And he died of something, poisoning or whatever. I don't, I don't know. I dropped my keyboard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was careless. But I care about you. You're one of the only things. Mwah. He's a good buddy. He's a good buddy. He's a good buddy. Um, jousters, what the hell? Why not? Who cares? Anything at all. Yeah, let's just, yeah, let's just hit our own guy, you freaking idiots. Like, I, I know I'm one to talk. I'm, I'm the one doing this silly placement, but, like, let me have something here, you know?
I love the jousters so much. They're so much fun. Um. Nope. Nope. Not happening. You know, that could have gone worse. We had a whole Da Vinci tank and a wizard left to go. But honestly, when you look at how I have been doing, I wasn't even that bad. I have had worse rounds recently. Um. Could pop you in the back, and, um, I don't know, man. I, 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 I don't know. What do you, what, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Let's, uh, throw a, lead butter, flintlock. Four flintlock dudes. I, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky and the jousters will perform slightly better this time around. That's all I can think of. Oh no, everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. Oh no, and my my gun shooty duty poo. Gee. I don't know. Um Changing the plan again. Bombs farming potions now. Oh, what will be good against a freaking tank? Uh, all the ballistas, every ballista. Let's go back in time. Let's throw a snake archer out there too. Just, just for. A good time. Oh, 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 wait, 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 hold on. Just a freaking second. Ballistas? Uh, b ballistas. Ballistas for tanks. Right? Ballistas beat regular tank. That is fine. Okay. Okay. Plans. Plans. Working on them. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You just... You... You... You wait. You wait just to... Just... just, just shut up. And just wait. And see what I've got. Bards. Bards are more obnoxious. They like run away, don't they? Yeah. Dude. Come on. Hit the tank. Hit the freaking tank. Oh, the tank is so dead. Oh my gosh. Please. We can do this. Oh no. We just need to kill vampires that's all we gotta do oh my god this is we stand a chance maybe just we have to stop shooting ourselves and shoot at the enemy I hate you guys we had the world we had we had everything we had so much opportunity, and you guys decided to squander it on being freaking weirdos and like shooting yourself. I, like, I, I, I just, I, I don't get it. I don't understand. I, I, dragon. Let's put a dragon um, in the back, in like the actual back. See what happens. See if the dragon will come in and like shoot the vampires by the time they come around. I, I don't know. It's, it looks like he's already fallen all over himself, which is unfortunate for your boy. Uh, 
Shoot the, the enemies. You got to actually shoot shoot all the bad guys. Or we can't do this, man. There's too many of them. We've already screwed it. No, you all shoot the same guys every time. So we can't. You can't win. You don't have hope. There is no chance of victory. Um, I'm trying to think. What 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 what's like the uh, the most durable unit? The cactuses were pretty durable, weren't they? Oh my God, the cactuses! It must be the cactuses. They've been in my face this whole time. They were the defensive wall that I've been waiting for to distract while the ballistas mow down the NMA. That must be it. It was in front of my face the whole time. Cacti, let's go. No, you've already screwed it. Oh, it's even worse. This is worse than it was before. The bards did better. Oh, no. Okay, cactuses are bad again. Cactuses are bad again. Okay. So now what do we do? I guess we could... Hmm... I guess I could do the bards, but like more spread out. There's a cactus guy still over there. Hold on. Um, we've got guys over here. Guy number one. No, no, sorry. I, I keep. And we'll put some guys over here. We'll cluster them a little bit. Make them really appealing. These are these are guys you want to go after. They're, they're little, little cuties. Is that the thing about them? Are, are enemies drawn to the bards? Is that their benefit? Because it seems like they just go for them. It seems like they'll chase around a bard like all day. But if they want, if you want them to attack somebody specific, like, you're in a little bit of trouble. All right, we got bards over here, bards over there, bards everywhere. You gotta shoot the tank, guys. You, you just, you, you gotta shoot the tank. You, you've you've got to shoot the tank. You've got to shoot the the tank. The tank has to be what you shoot. I wish I could pick a target. I really wish I could. It would be lovely. It would be just amazing. Ballistas are just the way to go. I just don't know what is the complementing force to go with the ballistas. Nothing makes sense right now. Six. And I'll put one right there. I won't put one right there. And we'll put one right there. And we're gonna put a big wall of something. We need some sort of unit that can sustain some gosh dang mother freaking damage, man. Just anything. What can sustain damage? What, what? Hey, Baylor. Cool. Haven't used that in years at this point, it feels like. Uh, hey, Baylor, whatever. They can't actually sustain that much damage, can they? They're not the type of unit I would typically use. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. And we're shooting ourselves a little bit, but we're doing better than we typically do. 
aren't we? Oh! Okay, we gotta kill that. The, the vampires are the freaking enemy of the ballista. We need to, like, do something to take care of the vampires, which is fine. We need a dragon. Dragons are good against vampires. Fire is good against vampires. I have found this. I know this. I've studied this. Oh no, the dragon's already dead. Hold on, let's uh, let's uh, do something else with the dragon. Let's uh, place an additional dragon just in case something goes wrong, which it will. Um, we need the dragons to back up the ballistas. Why are you crawling over it, you freaking dingus? <laughs> I cannot believe any of you. You're all awful. This isn't a failure of leadership. This is just like, who could work with this crap? I refuse to take the blame for this one. You, you guys are gonna have to take the fall on this. Unless we succeed, in which case I would say, I, I did a really good job. <laughs> Unless we succeed, we might succeed. Oh my god, oh my god, please. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh, holy shnikes. We are about to win with, with ballistas to spare and a dragon that is a complete dingus and we still did it. We still did it. Oh my gosh. What the hell just happened? And now we get to actually use the units, the, 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 these guys. Yeah, we're going to use Thor. What do you think we're going to do? We're, we're going to use Thor, and we're going to surround, and we're going to give you some, some peasants over here. We're going to give you, like, a peasant over there. We want to see what Thor does. This is what we've been waiting for. Thor is a powerhouse. I had to fight him once. I know Thor. I've fought for him. Thor is a great enemy of mine. This is gonna be fantastic. Oh my God, like, they beat me, but geez, I'm excited to try something different for once. This is, we got the blow darts, the pike, the barrel guys, we got also, we got the super peasant, which I'll never be able to afford, but that would be fun. Uh, you got chariots, we got the pharaoh, which makes people bow down. I've seen this. Um, I think I need to put some uh, peasants in front of him, and then we will throw some boxers in the arena. Let's see if they'll knock a fool out. And then we'll uh, throw a couple uh, poachers uh, over here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Yeah, the boxers can knock out any of these guys. And then you have them just basically laying down. Oh, the Pharaoh's already dead, isn't he? That's unfortunate. This might be harder than the last part. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, there's not a lot of units I have to choose from doing the legacy stuff, is there? Um... Mostly because so many of the legacy units are really expensive. Um, I just realized I can place myself on this side of these guys. And it would be just fine. How, how good are the poachers? I want to see. We're going to shoot these guys over here and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, this 
Oh, wait, they have... I forgot they have shield, guys. That's probably not very good with poachers. We need something that can break that shield. Um, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, rethink the whole situation. Um, actually, I don't even think I need these over here all that much. Um, wizard. Of course. And a wall of peasants just kind of surrounding him. Nobody can hit him. The peasants will... The poachers can beat the... The, the bone mages. That's what we'll call them. And as long as we can take out the... Uh, yeah, as long as we can take out all the shield guys with the wizard, I think we're in pretty good shape. The shooty guys will do a fine job taking out the... Uh, the spear throwing dudes. Like they fire at a pretty rapid rate. Really roll reps, rising up rapidly. So no radio activity. Wait, I have to go in here? This is my only spot. I guess that leaves not too much thinking to do. Um Tank. I haven't gotten to use a tank yet, so we're gonna use a tank. No, wrong way. Dang. Yeah. Okay, this might be... It, it is two mammoths, so that might be a bit much for a tank, but we'll see. No, we, we, we lost, but really not by that much when you look at it. Um, so the super boxer is 10,000. I wonder how good he is. Um, Pharaoh. Pharaoh sounds pretty cool. Um, how many of these guys can we get out there? Let's, I want to see what we can do with... Hold on, I need to give my bird a treat. Because he's a good boy. Um, I want to see what we can do with uh, as many poachers as we can fit in a tiny circle. They're probably going to shoot each other a lot, but I, I really want to see this. Like, they're firing off pretty quick. They're getting some shots into the mammoth. Oh, they did win. Cool. That's pretty sick. What do we got for time? I just want to take a look just to make sure. Okay. I uh, I didn't actually set a timer today. I just have to make sure I don't, uh, I don't record too long and not have any time for the other stuff I want to do tonight. That's all. Let's, uh... Let these guys, uh, let it ride, you know? They're winning, so let's let them try again. Oh, no! Crows! I, um, I think these, uh, these hay guys are pretty good at absorbing arrows. Oh, is that their, is that the thing they're good at? Is that, like, the, the main use for those guys? Like, they're... They're arrow eaters. Stop, stop drowning. Stop drowning. Hey, you, stop, stop. Hey, stop drowning. Oh, you're... How did we win? We won despite ourselves. That could have... Uh, that could have gone better. All right, what do we got? We got wheelbarrow guys. That's fine. We're going to see what the poachers can do this time. We're going to keep running with the poachers until uh, they lose. When they lose, we will try another strategy. I think they may have found the poacher's kryptonite. The fact that they cannot seem to hit the uh, afro-wearing wheelbarrowers. It's an afro, right? Is that what it's supposed to be? Um, we got chariots. Dude. Yeah, a couple chariots. That'd be pretty sick. Then we'll uh, throw away... <laughs> not a banner bearer. That that would not be very helpful. Uh, we'll throw some um, peasants out here to eat some crows. 
Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, this is already really bad. I am going to uh, eject myself from this situation as quickly as I can. Um, we're gonna put these guys here just to make sure they get hit first by the uh, the first wave of attacks because we want the wizards to just have a minute to like get their attacks off on the wheelbarrowers. All right, you got it, guys. You got it. Oh, you got this. You totally can do this. They are not that durable. They're, they're a little durable. Oh, that was so close, too. That was like a, a second off. That could have gone worse. Um, so wait, if I don't have any of those, I have 200, which gives me enough for a banner bearer. A banner bearer would make them stay where they are. I don't know what benefit that would have for me. Hold on, I want to see how that plays out if they stay. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be a good idea. Yeah, that doesn't help at all. My my other thing was way better. I don't know. I don't know why I even attempted it. Um Maybe I should try something else. I don't know. What would the pharaoh do against guys like that? I kind of want to see what happens to the uh, to the wheelbarrowers when the pharaoh gets nothing. Okay. We're gonna leave the pharaoh out of this. This is this is not his fight. We're going to have Thor, and he's going to lead uh, an army of poachers. Thor seems like he's able to really knock the, uh, the wheelbarrowers if he gets a shot off on them, but the problem is he doesn't seem to be always getting a shot off. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we only got one left, and there's three of them. You're just walking to your death, fool. I like that he gets a couple shots. Oh, it only takes two to hit them. Uh, to take them down, I mean. Okay. It only takes a couple shots on them. That's interesting. Um, so if I put that there, put that there, put that there. And I had one of these. This might actually work better than I thought. And I have nothing to do here, so I'm going to put you there. No, it wasn't enough. Okay. Uh, dang it. This isn't... This isn't going to work. I was closer before. There's a lot to play with here. Barrel rollers. Duh, barrel rollers, right? Isn't that what we want to do? And then we can uh, take the scarecrows out with all these guys. Like the barrel rollers, they like explode or whatever. So that would be good. We missed. Okay, hold on, hold on. I need to make sure we actually hit. Yeah, let's try that. Maybe we'll hit this time. Oh, no! Oh no, we're the worst. We are just bad at this game. Not you, me. But I like to think that we're all in this together. Even if we're not, even if you don't have my back, 
Um, what do the blow darters do? I actually don't know how good they are. Let's, uh... They're all facing the other way. I don't really like that. Let's, uh, have them all facing the enemy, at least. Um, they don't seem to do a lot. At least not quickly. That is my conclusion. My conclusion is that they are not good for the current situation. Um, Thor was useful. He was definitely useful. Um, what do I do with a flag bearer? Would it be good to have Thor running at them? I don't know why I would want that. And I'll put Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali right at his side. That's what we're calling them. And I don't know what to do, so I'm putting you there. This fell apart real fast. So, you got any, any ideas? Man, wheelbarrowers have always been like my kryptonite, and I hate that. Um, so, might take a break. Um, I, I like that I beat that one mission, because that, that was a very, very hard mission for me, the, the end, uh, which I guess by, by design it had to be. And then we kind of ran through these, no problem. That wasn't an issue. But, uh, yeah, we made a little bit of progress. Um, we've got, like, a little more than a full page left to do. And that's fine. Um, and then we'll be able to move on to one of the other com campaigns. Uh, some of these more normal-looking campaigns. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like it, comment, subscribe, whatever. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see you in the near future. All right, bye.